Hi, it's Brendan Stoneman at Remax Kelowna here, and I'm joined by Home Inspector Murray Klingbeal from Amerispec. Okay, so there's been a lot of talk over the last little while about radon gas uh, as being a, you know, something people are very concerned about. Um, just wanted to talk to you about the Okanagan specifically. Is it an issue in the Okanagan Valley? To some degree, radon gas, unfortunately, is an issue everywhere. Uh, it's getting a lot of press in recent years because they, the, uh, Health Canada has lowered the um, permissible amount, which is a certain measure of bicarols per thousand liters of air in houses. And because in new construction, it's so airtight now compared to the old days in the 50s, 60s, where your house breathed and nothing was an issue. Nowadays, the motto is build tight and ventilate right. So radon gas has higher concentration in a newer house than you'll have in others. So as a consequence, uh, approximately three years ago now, uh, the BC Building Code has now implemented that your home must have radon mitigation. Right. If you've ever been walking through a new house under construction, you'll see a big five inch white pipe that's coming out of the concrete for what? Uh, if the house is ever deemed to have high levels of radon, they put in an extraction fan system. Right. Basically, it vacuums the air out from under your house. So what radon gas is, is it's a natural process by the degradation of rad radium in the soil. And it leaches its way up through, uh, and in a house, it can come through cracks in your foundation wall, cracks in your slab, around any floor drains. Uh, it works its way in, and like I say, if the house is old, it's not as big an issue. Mm -hmm. um, for a homeowner, you can go to Rohner or Home Depot and you can get your own radon gas testing kit. Yeah. Now, if you go on the website for uh, Health Canada, an accurate test, the device must not be tampered with. So if you're, if, as part of a pre-purchase, it can be in a house until you're around the corner and then the current homeowner puts it in the backyard right. or opens all the doors and windows. Right. So to get a real good accurate test, e e that the doors and windows have to be enclosed and they want the tester in there for 90 days, three wow. months. Three months. Um, and the reason that the radon gas has become the issue that it is, is according to the statistics from Health Canada, they think it's responsible for more deaths a year from lung cancer than cigarette smoking is. Wow. So uh, that's a lot of deaths. No kidding. And uh, the more research they do, their finger, finger gets pointed more at radon than it did in the past. So is it something that people, you know, how do you detect it? Can you smell it? Can you see it? How do you, is there any way aside from doing that test to, Not to tell? that easy, my friend. Odorless, colorless, tasteless. Right. And uh, you just can't tell by looking or smelling. Uh, you have to have an accurate test device and have it lab tested to know for sure. So then, I guess it's not like something like carbon monoxide, which, you know, if you're exposed to carbon monoxide, it can, you know, it can kill you very quickly. This is more the, a long-term lingering effect of just being exposed to it. Correct, and it's accumulative right. over the years. Um, yeah, it's, it's not like carbon monoxide. It's not fast, it okay. takes a long time. So are there areas of the Okanagan Valley that are a little more susceptible to it than others? Uh, the farther you head south down into the desert area from the charts I've uh, looked at over the years, the higher the concentrations are. Surprisingly, Kamloops has got a lot of concentrations of uh, radon gas. Mm. Uh, but here locally, it, it's um, relatively moderate. There's no real hotbeds that are jumping out at me right now. Okay, so best to be safe than sorry and have it tested. Correct. Not big money. It's uh, by by the time you pay for your test device and the lab testing, it's less than one hundred and fifty dollars. Perfect. Good to know.